welcome back to my channel so today I am going to start with moisturizing my face and my lips now for my face I used the simple moisturizer the light moisturizer I forgot to show you I'm sorry but yeah I just rub that all over my face and then I move on straight on to priming my face and for that I am going to use the Nivea post shave balm and just put that all over my face you know go I can't speak you guys know that I love this and it's really affordable and easy to just throw on, slap on, and to replace once it finishes. Because you know, sometimes things are expensive, like this primer. So, yeah, the Nivea Post Shave Balm is a really good primer and I really recommend it. Anyways, I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer just around like my oh, like larger pores and my nose. And then I'm going in with my foundation mix, which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, the NYX Total Control. Control control drop foundation and the NYX um, the luminizing pro mixing foundation thing by Bobby it's just to make my foundation a little bit glowier so yeah I mix that all at the back of my hand and then I just apply it and blend it in with my foundation brush you guys know the drill you guys know this so yeah I just blend it all out drag a little bit down my neck and then just tap the excess off with my sponge my echo tool sponge this is an echo tool sponge then I move on to concealer and for concealer I'm using the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer, the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. Now, uh, I first go in with the Bourjois one to give kind of like a concealer base, and it's a very hydrating, lightweight formula and healthy. It looks really healthy. So, I really like going in with this concealer first to just, you know, like even out the areas, and wherever I need more coverage and brightness, then I go in with my other two concealers because I really like concealer. Yeah. Blending everything away with my sponge again just making sure that there's like no spots that aren't blended by the sponge you know because no one likes that so yeah and now this is where I go in with my Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer because I have dark under eye circles and I just like hit it like in that little nook crook area where you see that I'm applying it that's where I put it and then I just put it around my nose where I get like really red and that's basically it. That's I, my skin's been pretty nice recently. I hope I don't jinx it, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty nice, so I don't really need to apply anywhere else. And now for brightening, kind of like a highlight contouring kind of thing, you know, like I've said, I'm going in with the collection Last Imperfection Concealer and just brightening all over the place, like you know the points. There's the brightening, yeah, those. <laughs> and then I blend everything out with my sponge again. It's a process, but like. Remember, when you're blending many concealers together to get like the desired coverage, you should just like be really, really, really gentle with your blending with the sponge. You should tap it really lightly and also like the brush that you're using to set the concealer so you don't rub it off, you should do the same thing. Tap it really, really lightly. Right now I'm just tapping away like my face because it's fine, it's like the bulk of it. And I'm just using the tiniest bit of the Laurier Mercier Translucent Powder. And then there, I just do it really, really lightly. And then once I've got the first layer on, then I kind of cap, kind of cap. I cannot speak today. I'm so sorry. I kind of pack it on like my creases under my eye. That sounds so wrong. Anyway, moving on. Um, I'm going to do fall freckles today, and I'm going to do it the, the natural version. So I'm using the Morphe 25B palette, and those three um, shades of brown. They, I prefer using cool tone browns for freckles but yeah basically I just grab my angled brush and just tap it everywhere like little dots because I already have freckles I don't know if you could ever tell but I do have freckles I have not, I'm a naturally freckled person and I just really like my freckles and today was one of those days that I'm like I really want them to like peek through so what I do is with powder I just apply the freckles with the eyeshadow and then on top of it I go over with the sponge so it looks natural it doesn't look like the gel type of fake freckles but yeah that's basically my tip just use eyeshadow and then go over um, the freckles with your sponge and it looks really nice next I'm bronzing my face with the butter bronzer by physicians formula as you guys know um, I love this bronzer uh, if you know any other bronzer that is like this shade, this consistency, this undertone, please tell me in the comments down below because I really want to get another one. And I know you can't get Physicians Formula in the UK, so I don't like using it this much, but it's my favorite bronzer, you guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Now for contouring, I'm using the NYX Contour Kit, the Highlight Pro Contour Kit. I don't know. I'll link everything down below. You guys know I always do. 
Um, I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my jawline, to make it a little bit like, you know, sharper, more defined. And then I'm going to contour my nose with an angled eyeshadow brush. This is one of my best tips I could give you. Um, instead of contouring your nose with like a big brush, grab an eye brush and contour your nose with that. I've gotten really comfortable with this angled eye brush and it just makes everything so easy, so easier. So much easier. I really can't speak. <laughs> yeah, I just go over it slowly. Just the tiniest amount of powder will go a long way. So yeah, you just kind of need to go practicing bit by bit and then to kind of blend everything out and to make everything smoother and just, I don't know, nicer. I go in with the other shade and just kind of diffuse the sides of my nose and then I just apply some to the center, the bridge of my nose for it to pop. Next I'm going in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and using this shade called Hush. I think, guys, I think I might have found a, not a dupe, but like another shade that's really similar to this. It's by Becca, so I'm, I'm gonna order that soon and just see how it works because it is my favorite blush shade and I cannot get enough of this. Yeah. So yeah, I put that all over my cheeks and then I kind of clean up with my powder brush and then I go in with my highlight. This is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette and I'm going to use that shade and then on top of it, I'm just going to hit it really lightly with this paler shade. So as you can see, I'm just like highlighting all over the place making my skin look dewy AF <laughs> and just hitting my high points after that I just hit like my upper lip and my chin and then I go in with the other lighter shade and just like hit the, the very top points like I'm using the lighter shade right now yeah you just highlight it because I really like the two color difference when you when you see like the very center of my cheekbone it's a bit lighter and more like bam so I really like that. Anyways, I grab like a really thin eye brush and then that's how I highlight my nose because I already contoured and you don't want to mess up your contour with a thick um, highlighting brush and just applying highlight everywhere. So yeah, that's why I use an eye brush for my nose. And then I'm going to set everything with the NYX, the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. The NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I'm going to drench my face in this. And then another tip for you guys for your foundation to last a lot longer is to tap it, to push the setting spray into your skin with a sponge. Just really lightly, you don't need to push really hard. Um, you just need to tap really lightly and it works wonders. Anyways, moving on for eyebrows, I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade 04 Espresso and I'm just going to comb my brows the direction they're supposed to be going because you know how brows are, they tend to be a bit unruly sometimes. And then I'm just going to draw thin hair-like strokes slowly and fill my whole brow. And it's a bit of a process. I mean, you're not drawing something extremely long, but um, it does, like the end result it is worth it because it doesn't look like a blocky brow. It looks filled in, natural, and you do kind of see some hairs. And they're the hairs I'm drawing right there. You kind of see those. And it just, it just looks really nice. So I've been really loving this technique recently. Um, and yeah, I've been enjoying doing my eyebrows like this. Next I'm going to set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. You know, for them to not move and to set into place. I'm just going to brush them upwards. And then I kind of coat my arch where the um, eyebrow hairs don't go in the direction they're supposed to be going. They always like move from there. So I kind of coat my brows a little bit more and then I just put them all into place. Next for eyes, I'm using the Morphe palettes. I'm going to use both of them, the 25A and 25B. Right now I'm using the 25B to set my eyeshadow, like to begin, to set my eyeshadow. Yeah, what was I thinking? Where was I going with this? Anyways, I'm going to grab a really fl fluffy crease brush and go in with different shades of brown and just slowly pack them on the outer corner, dragging them into my inner corner, kind of like last video makeup. It's kind of like that. But um, I go in to a more liner, smoky type of thing. Anyways, this is the 25A palette and I'm going in with that darker shade and that's where I'm just starting to blend everything together. Because I kind of want color on the outside, no color on the inside. But I still want it to be diffused, not too winged out, because I am using liners, so yeah. 
And next I'm just going to blend my lower lash line with the makeup on my lid. So as you can see, I'm just like dragging it. And then I'm going to go in with liner. I forgot to show you the liner. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I'm just using that to create quite like, it's not a huge wing, but is it's a decent size. And I'm just going to wing that out and hope for the best. You know how liner tends to be. You can either get it or you can't. Um, I kind of did get it. I feel like, I don't know, not, not, in, not in like one go. I always like to do the liner on both sides, put lashes on. So I curl my eyelashes right now like I'm doing. Put mascara, eyeliner, and then um, fix the eyeliner because when you put lashes on, it kind of hides your mistakes, air quotes, mistakes. Um, because when you put lashes on, when you put, when you put the lashes on, it kind of hides um, any imperfections or any un unevenness. <laughs> That's not even a word. Yeah, anyways. I'm just smoking the lower lash line right now with just like some browns and then some black because I really wanted to put some like black in my waterline. And as you can see, um, I'm just dragging the black from my waterline lower with that black shade from the 25A palette. And yeah, I mean, I just, I think, I think everything just ties together when you kind of smoke it out when you're using liner. I don't know, I just really like this look and I really wanted to show you guys how I did it. So here I am showing you. And now I'm applying mascara. And yes, some liner came off, but it's fine because we're applying lashes. It's fine, don't worry about it. You need to go in with liner again. So yeah, I'm just applying lashes. Lashes. I'm applying mascara on my top and bottom lashes, and then I'm applying lashes, and I'm using the GWA London Girls With Attitude um, Fantasy Lashes, and I really like these. They're so comfortable. They're really affordable. They're so comfortable. They're really, like, wispy. They're like the Ardell. I would say they're... they're blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. Okay, I cannot speak. Mm -hmm. They're like the Ardell uh, Wispies lashes, so I really like them. Next for lip, uh, for lips, I'm using the Kaylin um, Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint. You know this lipstick shade. It's in the shade 32, and I just thought it would be perfect for this kind of look. You know, kind of like the Instagram. It kind of gives me Instagram vibes of last year. But yeah, I'm just going in with that lip shade. I really like this look. Color. These lipsticks are really long lasting, so I really recommend them to you guys. If you guys can get your hands on these lipsticks. Um, I know they're based on the US, so if you can get the lipsticks, they're really nice. I don't know if they're shipping worldwide yet, I don't know. I found these lipsticks um, in a beauty con that came to Mexico. I mean, right now I'm in the UK, but yeah. Yeah, I really like these lipsticks. Anyway, guys, I really hope you like this look. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a really kind of simple eye look that you could use day or night, and I really wanted to use it and show you guys. And I hope you guys really like this tutorial. If you do, please give a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. I love you guys so, so, so much and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! Oh, this new crazy mother...